Parliament has returned from summer recess and the big focus for me at the moment is the impact of Labour's 20 mile per hour speed limit scheme. I've been inundated with calls, letters and messages from people in all four corners of Wales who are up in arms over this £33 million pet project of the Labour government. You can see the high levels of anger just by looking at the record-breaking petition to have the scheme scrapped, which at the time of this recording was fast approaching 440,000 signatures. Protests have been taking place all over Wales and it was great to meet so many people and protesters outside the centres recently as they staged a peaceful demonstration to send a clear message to the Welsh Government that they do not want this 20 mile per hour scheme. All of this culminated in me leading a vote of no confidence in the Labour Minister responsible for the 20 mile per hour scheme, Lee Waters. Enough is enough. On behalf of every single person, group, organisation and business that have contacted me from every single corner of Wales and on behalf of all those who signed the petitions, taken part in countless protests across Wales, will you please make the right decision and fire the Deputy Minister as the people of Wales really do deserve better. Fighting this 20 mile per hour scheme and making my constituents' voices heard will remain one of my priorities in the Welsh Parliament. I also wanted to use this video newsletter to give you a little flavour of just some of the things I've been up to in South East Wales over the summer. I put on my walking boots recently and headed to Rupera Castle to meet the team tirelessly working to save it from collapse. Rupera Castle Preservation Trust are campaigning to preserve the castle for community benefit. Not too long ago, I visited Growing Space, a charity based at Tradiga House which helps people into work by giving them the skills and training required, as well as getting people outdoors to benefit their well-being. Working Wardrobe's new hub in Abergavenny was another place I paid a visit to recently. The initiative helps people back into employment by making sure they are dressed to impress by donating professional clothing to those who need it. The visit was also a chance for me to find out about Quick Angels, which also runs a food bank next to Working Wardrobe. I touched down at Heathrow Airport earlier in the summer for a tour and to find out what goes on behind the scenes, especially when it comes to airport security, connectivity and greener fuel. Although it's not fair to compare Cardiff Airport and Heathrow, it is clear Cardiff could be doing a lot more to attract airlines and passengers in a bid to turn the facility's fortunes around. I was particularly pleased to hear more about the Western Rail project, which would slash journey times between Wales and Heathrow, something which would hugely benefit South East Wales. And of course, summer wouldn't be summer without a trip to the Royal Wales Show. I caught up with an array of charities, businesses, organisations and individuals at the annual spectacle. I met with Openreach to find out more about the work they are doing in my region when it comes to rolling out ultra-fast full-fibre broadband as well as the British Army, who showed off some of their equipment and vehicles before giving me a full briefing about their presence in Wales. I also met with the likes of ITV Wales, Dogs Trust, Tenevis, Cruise Bereavement Care, Prostate Cymru and BBC Wales, just to name a few. I was also fortunate enough to join some of my colleagues in attending the Army Expo, which showcased the best of the British Army through visual and physical displays. It was fascinating to find out more about how the Army carries out its role to face ever-changing challenges at home and internationally through cutting-edge equipment and skilled personnel. As well as all of that, I have given countless talks to various groups, including the Royal College of Nursing and the Monmouth Conservative Women's Organisation, about my role as a member of the Welsh Parliament. As ever, if there is anything I can ever do to help you, please don't hesitate to contact by getting in touch and emailing me at natasha.ashgar at or by calling 01633 215138.